Yo, what's up? I'm Mumsy and you're reading Brit Asian magazine. We're at the penthouse, Leicester Square. I'm rolling with my boy Mumsy. Yes. Now, I can only call you my boy yeah. because, really, I met you when you were about 17 years old. Long time ago, long time Actually, ago. Actually, this is a bit of an epiphany because we met at the penthouse in Ilford. You know what? Oh my god, I didn't even think about it. She had yeah. to drop that on camera, yeah? <laughs> yes, penthouse <laughs> part two. I met Mimsy at the penthouse in Ilford when he was dropping his first tune, Jump Up. Yes. And you know what? On the radio, whenever I'm on every day on drive time, I feel to drop that tune. Because I know you've had your One More Dance and Showgirl more recently, but I love Jump Up. You know what? It's, Jump Up was one of them tracks where, you know, when I was starting up on my own, it was a vibe, you know? But it then, was. But then slowly, when things started getting a bit more professional, when I got signed and stuff, I kind of moved on to the whole pop, R&B, urban thing, so and whatever works. It's true, and for those of you who don't know it, it goes like this. Jump up, everybody jamming in a party, like yeah! <laughs> that See? Let's go, man. That's crazy. Easy. See, I don't forget that. So, you've come a long way since Jump Up. How do you feel you've evolved as an artist? Um, you know what, first of all, like, when I did do that first track, Jump Up, I was alone. You know, I was doing things on my own. I was kind of learning the whole music and that. Yeah. But since, like, 2005 up to now, I've developed as an artist. I've uh -huh. matured. You know, I know how to sing now, and how to play instruments, and how to dance. So, for me, it was all kind of a learning phase, you know? Uh -huh. And when it all kind of went professional and went all record label business with Vichy, that's when kind of things happened for me. What part of that, out of that, the whole kind of package that makes you Mumsy, did you find the most challenging? Was the dancing? Was it coping with the love that you must be getting? Um, what was it? For me, for me, it was kind of just being on camera and kind of being loud and you know, being seen by the industry because I, I, the reason why I call myself Mum's a Stranger because I didn't get that when I was young. You know? I, wasn't, yeah. I wasn't loud, I wasn't everywhere. You were the quiet one. Exactly, I was quiet and then when all that kind of came, 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 came to me, uh -huh. I was like, whoa, you know, is this what it's about? So, yeah. But I'm enjoying it now, I'm ready. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm a, you know, professional. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. So. you can talk to yeah, camera, we can all talk yeah, to camera, it's cool. Exactly. <laughs> Excellent, so Showgirls just come out, loving the video, kind of neo Russia thing going on. I've got to ask you to bust the move right here. What now? Yeah, man. Oh my God. That's how we do on the spot. You want to bust the move? Bust the move. Only if you copy oh. me. You want me to copy you? Yeah. You know what, I can bust shapes, I yeah. can bust good shapes, yeah. so I'm do, happy. Yeah? Let's do it, come on follow me like that. <laughs> See, I knew, I knew it wouldn't work, so just <laughs> And that's why it. I'm a presenter and Mumsy is an artist. We'll just leave it to the professionals. Smash the Mumsy, I wish you, you the best much. of luck Thank for you. the Amherst 2010. Thank you very what much. do you think you might win or what do you think you might get nominated for? Um, do you know what? If I win, I win. If I don't, then I'll, I'm happy being a nominee, so it's all good. I'm all good. Good answer. Don't forget it. Vote Mumsy and vote Xylene for best radio show. All right. What are you going to do? Vote. <laughs>